Good morning, Sagittarius. Happy Monday. All is well. Yes, Sagittarius. Wow. Okay. Well, I do feel like there is a lot coming up in terms of conversations. I saw it yesterday. I see it today. Um, I feel like you're going to be really honestly expressing yourself. You know, and I feel like there's a conversation that is kind of going to show you something about the kind of people you want in your life. You know, it's really interesting here. I use the Reiki deck. Um, so, welcome to Sage Muse. If you're looking for personal readings, please check out the link in your description. It will take you there. But, Saj, I feel like there is... Oh, gosh. It does feel like there is a conversation coming which kind of shows you where you belong and where you don't belong. You know, like uh, what people and what groups of people make you feel vibrant. And, you know, because the sun is here, which is your life force. I mean, what people give you energy, what people make you feel good. And, and I feel it's so interesting because, you know, it feels emotional, right? So there may be an emotional conversation in which you are like, um, because you're looking for change. You're looking and you're not holding back with the third chakra being here. It could be things that you have wanted to say. You know, there is this energy of really expressing yourself and, and you know, Definitely in terms of the kind of people that you want to be around. Now, this is, you know, this is water energy. So, obviously, this is feelings, right? But I, I, I feel like this is a big thing for you. Uh, and it may be that someone is showing you that. Like, the kind of people you want to be around because of something that happens with a particular person. You know, um, because you've been thinking about a situation and spirit wants you to stop. <laughs> They're telling you to give less Fs, Sag. Give less Fs. Focusing too much on one situation, you need to take a step back. Okay, so, I mean, this could be like obsessively thinking about one person. But I, I feel like this, uh, you know, if I'm to look at the bigger picture, and of course I am, I'm a Sagittarius, um, I feel like there's a big shift coming in you figuring out the kind of people that you want to be around. And this may be new people, you know, because I, and I also feel like you're expressing yourself on things that you really haven't, that you've kind of held your peace on. You know what I mean? Um, but I get the sense that there is kind of no holding back here, Sag, to be real with you. And I feel like this comes up for you through through something specific. I mean, I feel like with the Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords, wow, you're being very open with someone about um, how they made you feel. And I also like definitely how they hurt you, right? <laughs> That's definitely how they hurt you. And I, I feel like with the Ace of Cups is you're, you're good with it. You know, because the Ace of Cups is a very, um, is a very positive card. It's like you still, I feel this for you. You know, I care about you. I have love for you. My heart is open to you. But you hurt me. And I don't know, Saj, maybe you've held back from that. I feel like also that this person has a lot to say. Now, the Queen of Swords with the King of Cups, I, I very much feel as if you, you know, it's kind of just like something you need to get out. 
you know, and it's not about necessarily working things out with this person. I feel like you might have wanted to work them out. This could be a friend too, by the way, because the two of cups is here. You could have wanted to work things out, you know, because you, you did want like this person in your future, but whatever they did, it kind of put a damper on things, right? And it was not something that was ever settled. We're talking about fives, right? And it feels like, It feels like you're done. To be quite honest with you, it feels like you're done. Because, you know, it's, if I'm not going to keep healing situations here. Basically. You know, um, because there is a big energy here of breaking free. Uh, because of these swords, the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords is here too. You know, you've thought about it with the two of swords um kind of weighed things on on both positions right and you know maybe it is that you've thought about what you should say but you know i feel like you were you were open to to you know making things good knight of cups but it's it's like I have a and and I don't I maybe am the only person who feels like this about the Knight of Cups, but the Knight of Cups very much is that push and pull energy for me. You know, and it's like I kind of just feel like you're not open to that kind of energy. You you've gotten yourself into a good place. You're you're feeling good. And I don't I don't need this, right? And I feel like you might be saying this in like um in kind of a pretty strong, aggressive way, <laughs> which is Sagittarius, right? And I feel like you, you know, the truth is, is that you have really um, weighed out whether or not to say what you have to say. You know, it's kind of a, this is how you got me fucked up kind of thing, right? <laughs> I do, I do feel that because... You know, the Knight of Swords is not my favorite. You know, but I, I feel like you're very, also very conflicted about how some people move. Like, almost like you can't trust them. But what it is doing for you, it, it is leading you somewhere great. Because with the Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups, it's like, it encourages you to get out there and meet new people and and really meet new people in your in your full energy in your power in yourself people who see you people who want to be around the queen of wands now the queen of wands is very attractive very fun you know um all of that but also it's kind of like you're in your full power so you know, you don't have to filter yourself for these people that you're attracting. And I feel like that's part of what you're going to stop doing. Now, the opportunities of the day, Sag, is saving face, many choices, <laughs> power position, and, and then there's an offer. Mm. So, <sighs> that's what I feel like you've done in a lot of situations. You know, I, I feel like you have, um, you know, maybe giving your power over to people instead of, like, being this Queen of Wands and knowing, like, the direction in your life. Saving face is, like, grinning and bearing it, right? Not saying what you have to say. Not seeing that you have choices in situations. Like, you don't have to do that. 
right? It's telling you that you have the power to make your own choices and make things happen for yourself. And I kind of feel like whatever was offered, just, I feel like you just want bigger things, right? You want, you want, definitely want people who, who aren't afraid to take chances, who, who want to grow and want to invest. Just saying such. So I really feel like um, for Sagittarius, I don't know why, but this is kind of like maybe something that's like, you know, moving around in your head. Oh, wow. Five, five, five. Sad, you know it's time for change. Look at this. Five, five, five. <laughs> it's time for change. You know, specifically, like, you're tired of feeling alone. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of not being seen, not being understood. Eight of Wands and the Hermit. You've thought about this a lot. But it's really time for you to really act on what it is that you've been thinking, right? So if you want change, you want different kinds of people, you want people who show up for you, you know that like you can't keep hiding. There's, You've got to be the change. You've got to make the change. And once you do, the universe is going to step in and bring you people, grounded people. Wow, look at this. The Wheel of Fortune the queen of pentacles and the world, you know, people that want to help you, people that want to show up for you, people in a more grounded energy, right? Um, people who are honest, make good decisions, you know? Wow. Yeah, you're done with the devil. And, and it's like you, you're really seeing uh, the people just that weren't good for you. That you're better than that. You know, the Empress, you're better than that. And it's time for new. Wow. Wow. And I don't know, but it feels like there's a conversation that happens that makes that very clear for you. Makes that very clear for you, Sag. You're, you're not looking to fix situations no more. You know, you're really figuring out that. So in the extended, I will do, um, this was short and sweet, right, Saj? I, I will do um, the new people you're attracting and um, go through all the zodiac signs. I love this for you. This actually feels like a really pretty big shift for you. I love it. So let's see what you're learning today. What is Sagittarius learning? What is Sagittarius learning? weave together the the crown you deserve this is definitely about you know bringing together being together with people who who actually value you and i don't mean we have to think that we deserve it and i feel like that's might might be what you are learning justice is coming yes you are dealing with this truth and you are attracting people that you deserve but you know it's like they said we attract the love we think we deserve so i mean maybe that's something you want to take a look at i don't know so let's finish this off with some inspiration and i feel like this is bigger than love Saj. i feel like this is the people around you period <clears throat> sorry 
I need water. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius. What should Sagittarius be inspired about? So you may be getting out, Sag. You know, because we cannot meet new people. You're connecting in some way. You definitely are putting yourself out there. Because that's what the Queen of Wands does. Sagittarius. Oh, here we go. How are you being called to step up and lead? I feel like you're not going to have to do much to, I don't know, to attract these people. Your guidance is divinely guide. It's like you know. You know that you've got to move somewhere. You're being given the information. Hmm. Maybe travel, too. You're connecting with empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature, like with other. You may meet, start, if you start doing some things outside, you may meet new people. Okay, Saj, I don't know. So that's what I got for you. I hope you have the best day ever.